Hello everyone, it's Charles one k 92 here and we're back again. I have made a little bit of a few changes. I've purchased a couple of outfits for Edward, uh, Edward, Edward and uh, bought the new sword. So, we're about to start our next um, mission, the Travelling Salesman. Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Kemmer, you run this scheme alone, at the risk of losing the faith of your crew. It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the Sage. Can you hold off till he appears? The Sage is here. Aye. And Prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. I'll stay my blade for a time, but not long. Just one double check on Zion here. So kill four gunners and kill guards done by smoke bombs five times. Okay. How long has it been since our last meeting, Senor Prince? A year? Near 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, I see. Much has changed in that short time. None call me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Ah, I was not aware. So many churches in Kingston. Have the English at last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith? Ha! Convert them? God knows, Taurus. There's none here so foolish as that. Foolish? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? To transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it here? We are nearly there. Slave and face corporal punishment like a man. Why act like a man now when you have denied me that right for 30 years? Find your bearing appalling, please. I believe all thinking, feeling men deserve respect and opportunity. Ah, oh, you Spaniard. Your long ties to the moors have diluted your blood and sharpened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Surely men with talent and intelligence should leave. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money, see. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, uh, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So why bother? For virtue, if nothing else. Virtue? Oh, Torres. I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate their friends. Why 
Watch for your step, boy! For virtue, if nothing else. Just in case, hold on. One of a number of civil servants in my family, a long line of. God's sake, man! See, no, see. No, 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 no. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family, a long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough years. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one. And a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I received my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if a touch less perfect. I grow tired of this walk. We must be close. Yes, just here. We must be on equal footing, you see. I don't trust Templars any more than you must trust me. Hmm. Well, if I had known you were so skittish, I'd have brought you a bouquet of flowers. <clears throat> oh, I don't know why I bother. For the money, I suppose. The vast sums of money. You, um... You say you came alone, Paris? Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Now's the time! Oh. Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed. Deal with this! You cocked up my kill, Kenway. For a better cause. You 
lost your chance, man. I'm going after Prince. Kid, no! Jim, stop! Not this time, Kenway. God's sake, it didn't count. Because that bloody explosion. <laughs> Come on, man! We can work this together! You had your chance. There won't be any guards now, will there? Stay your blade, kid. Wait. Jim, stop. Oh no, hold on, there is a guard. Come on, Jim. Let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you robbed me of both. Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Brins. Got that? <sighs> that could have gone bad. All right. Oh, here is James. Whew. Wouldn't you prefer meeting in a pub? I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. There's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. Ready? Your name's not James, is it? Not most days. Come on.
Edward is now baffled. If you see Prince before I do, kill him, and there'll be a bit of coin in it for you. All right. Damn that. How is it you're a woman? Christ, Edward. Is that something that needs explaining? Now, I'm here to do a job. I'll let you be amused later. You didn't hear what happened. He was attacked by a couple of brigands on his way here. Buccaneers or the like. A nasty business. Jesus. You're right. Slipped away from what I heard. Prince ain't too happy not. Just him now. Bloody hell, they've got health, man, I tell ya. Technically relying on stealth. Kids having a good time. Damn it, kid, what are you doing? Just going around in circles. Fair enough. Patience. There's your sleep. Off to dreamland. Loudest scream I've ever heard. Let's have a bit of chaos going around, shall we? You as well. You.
Oh, there we go. This is going to be coming interesting if this guy continues. You won't lose us. They're already dead. Found him. <laughs> there. <sighs> That worked. Hold on. Sorry about that. Hold! Stand your ground! Please! I've been shot! I need aid! Christ, Thompson, look at her! She's hurt! Dreadfully, sir! I'm poorly! All right! I'm faint! Take an arm, lass! Bless you, lads. Huh. Deadly, as always. Boy, Arnold. Mr. Prince says to keep your eyes open tonight. Says there's some men about bent on making trouble. I'll spread the word. You mind? Circle round, surround them. Escape the asylum, that's good. Didn't escape anything, mate. Get it done while we're here.
I hang over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. Heads up, Kenway! I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a lot of red coats. All because. Hold on. Nope. Excuse me, coming through again. Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. <laughs> All right, see. 
We'll call this a little break for now, everyone. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Ta-ta for now.